Hi everyone, I have a Hobby Lobby clearance haul. I actually have, it's two weeks worth. I didn't make a video last week, um, so I just combined everything. So I got this confetti mix, um, and uh, I just got this in case I do any fall pocket letters. I could put that in the middle with some other kind of sequins. I got these red bows. And they're flat backs too, which is nice. You don't have to take anything off of them. I don't remember picking up these sunflower charms, but I guess I did. And for $149, why not? That's a great deal. I also got these little fruits for when I do fruit journals or some type of swap I might need them for. I got this is three yards of a paper banner, and I might need these. Might need to cut them and make you know, put them on cards or something, so that would be pretty cool. Could stamp on them, make designs or something, so I thought that was neat. I got these cuties for $1.24. Those would be good in a journal or swap. And I think these stickers were from last year too, but I picked them up again. I got two packs. It's just the uh, one with the scarecrows and the cute little bird house here, the pumpkins, the hedgehog, all cute little fall images and they're all nice and foiled up. So I got two of those and I got this one. I was going to put this one back and then I picked it up again. So uh, $1.99 so that's $40 off. It's not too bad for stickers. I picked these up again. I don't think I used them last year, but they're so pretty. I don't know if the glitter sheds, but you get 16 stickers, and this is good for any kind of a fall journal I'm going to make. Or again, some type of fall swap. These socks were 69 cents, and for Christmas I got them for my daughter because she likes the no-shows. Um, so we got the, the um, rainbow and the sun, the clouds, the butterflies and this one is um some butterflies and a big rainbow over here some clouds and flowers and then this one is some ducks just a striped pattern and then this one is a big duck over here big duck face with the beak at the tip that's funny so for 69 cents i got those um, I saw people hauling these and they were at my store for $1.99 so I got them. I got two of these. Um, they didn't have any of the Prima flowers. I still have a lot left over from last year but I would have gotten some more. Um, but they didn't have, they just had one color one and it was really, I didn't like it at all so I didn't pick it up. I got these silver stars for 99 cents. No, I'm sorry, for 74 cents. That'll be good for something. These do have the backs on them, but I'll just cut them off. I got these cherries. The cherries do not have the backs on them. I got these cute little scissors and, and spools. And those do have the backs on them. Not the scissor part. No, they got them on the scissor too. Yeah, so I'll just snip those off. I usually use scissors, but it's better to use your, your um, cutters, your jewelry pliers, your cutters, because those will go right down to the, the end. I picked up these fruits. And for 99 cents, I picked up these lips for Valentine's Day. Can't really see anything that good because of the glare, but... And then I got this for $1.49. It was a snack container. I only saw one there. I've never seen anything like that at Hobby Lobby before. But this is really cute. And I might give it to my daughter for Christmas. So I got that. Alright. This is this is three stores worth. So then the next store. Guys, I was shocked to find this for $1.99. You know how expensive these huge jumbo clips are. And I've never purchased them because they're always so much money. But for $1.99, you get 12 of them, and they're really, they're good. They're, they're nice and sturdy. They're thick. They're not cheap or anything. 
I couldn't believe it. I was just sitting there like, not $1.99. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I tried to order these before, they're always a lot more. So I was psyched about that. I got some more fall stickers. Some of these are epoxied, which I like. I don't think all of them are. Like, I think that one's not. So I got two packages of those. And, oh, I guess I did get another package of this one. So that's what we got for fall stickers. I know Vagabond Crafter said she did a challenge with these photo albums. And so for 87 cents, you got two of them. And even if we don't do anything like that, they're good to have. So this one is like a pinkish red watercolor. And this is like a blue green watercolor on this one for 87 cents. And then um, I had to get this. <laughs> and on the other one, it's just that style. They had like a smiley face one I didn't really like too much. And a couple of other ones I didn't really like. But I, I picked those two up. For Christmas, I did pick up these because these are going to be really cute on a journal. So these are just snow snowmen. And uh, it was $4.49, so it was half off that. So I, I did get it. usually don't get stuff like this. But I did get this one, and I did get the Santas. I thought that was really cute. These will be awesome. So that's what I'm going to use them for. I got these pack of sunflower die cuts. Um, the sequence was 49 cents. I've seen this before and I left it there. It's just uh, llamas and like cactuses. But you never know if you're going to be in a swap that needs this. So I picked that up. It looks like I picked up more fruit. I picked up the apples. And I love these, the octopus. Oh my God, those are so cute. So, yeah, these have the backs on them. And I like these Santa faces. These are flat backs. Well, obviously it says it right there, but I like these little Santa faces. So I got those. And I got this black ribbon for 74 cents because I always need black. So I'm gonna always get black because I don't have much black of anything. I, I'm starting to have a, a lace. Um, I'm starting to have a good quantity now of black lace, but that's not usually the case. So I'm stocked up for now. And then I just got a few more other things. Let's see what I got. I saw these stickers for $2.49, regular $9.99, and I figured this would be good for a swap if I come across maybe somebody's name, somebody's initial, so I got these just in case, and um, I also got the one that says smile, because I think this was $8.49 for $2.12, so you never know if you're going to need an initial, that's why I, I got it. These cute, these were in the baking section, 37 cents, and they're just like, like you see all these little elephants, but I thought that was cute, and if I need it for a baby journal or something, I could just cut those off and use them. So I got two packs of those, I think, yes, right here, I got two sets of those. I did pick up some Tim Holtz stuff that I really didn't want, like I really don't want these gourd, these these frames I call them buckle frames I really don't know what on earth I would use these for I don't know but I picked them up anyway just to pick them up so I only got that and I got for 162 I got these big pieces I just have the paper dolls so these are big paper dolls so and that's what you get that's all they had on clearance for Tim Holtz they had nothing else they only had a few other things. They had no, I want the mica sprays. They had nothing like that. Um, oh, and he had these, the um, the plaques, the lost and found, use your wings, full of wonder and live your story. So I did pick those up and I picked up these quotes. Life itself is the most wonderful story for I am the dreamer life is the dream ideas 
uh, the lost and found of the artist and the future belongs to the curious so I did pick these up to um, for 99 cents I picked up these little passports in, ca in case I'm doing a travel journal for somebody so that would be nice to go in the journal I did pick up these clouds and rainbows and the gift tags, you all know I hauled the little gnomes, but this time I found the unicorns. So for 49 cents, I got the unicorns. That's all they had. They had gnomes left, but I already got that. I already got a pack of those. Um, I got this forever grateful. I thought this was cute, and the um, wall decor was all 50 off. I just thought that was really cute, and I wanted to put that on my craft door, I think. So update, the ceiling fan went in today. So that's done. We just have to, I took all the stuff. She used to have a bed with drawers underneath. I took the drawers out and that's all extra stuff she hasn't come to get. So I just put that in a box. We got to disassemble the bed, put that downstairs, I guess. So we got a little ways to go. And then I got this trim. One was three dollars and thirty-six cents, and one was two thirty-five. But I'll take it out of here. I think it's the same stuff. It was a little bit expensive, but I do like these things, so I'll show you it here. It's a decent piece, though. So this is it. I think that's just beautiful. When I do my wedding journals and my shabby chics. I do have a wedding journal up for sale. I put the price down on it a little bit because I used a lot of the appliques and that gets expensive. So I did put the price down. I think it was in someone's cart last year. Might still be in that cart, but no one actually bought it. So I think I made three wedding journals and I gave two away to some co-workers and I got one up for sale. I love making them, but... I'm only going to make them if they, you know, if they sell. Here's the other piece. Same thing. Beautiful. So I don't mind actually spending that money on that. It's really pretty and, um, you know, I, I love that. So that was my haul. So, uh, eh, you know, it's all right. I mean, everyone was hauling Tim Holtz, like, the sprays and the oxide sprays i really wanted those i really wanted a lot of things but my hobby lobby just does not carry that stuff anymore they still carry the alcohol inks but i'm not into alcohol inks because i have tons of other inks and i don't want to be spending money on alcohol inks i love alcohol inks i love what they do i love how they look but i have enough inks that you know i'm just going to use what i have and I don't really care about the Tim Holtz inks that much because I have a ton of Tim Holtz inks. So the inks isn't really what making me upset. We do have some inks at my store. They're not on clearance. It's just the other stuff like the sprays I wanted and some other things you guys were able to get at your stores. Um, since last year, they took a lot of Tim Holtz down at the stores near me. There's three in my area and they took all the there's only like a handful of Tim Holtz stuff and it's not stuff I would want. It's all like they don't have the vignettes anymore or anything like that. They have nothing. They totally, they just have like thing of, like paper dolls and uh, like four other things. It's like nothing I want at all. So I'm glad that everyone else is having a lot of Tim Holtz stuff still in their Hobby Lobbies. That's great. I think that's awesome. But at mine... No, for over a year now, it's been, uh, Tim Holtz has been very scarce there, so, but that's okay, I do have some sprays, um, I can certainly buy some sprays, that's not a big deal at all, it's just I like when his stuff goes on clearance, you know, but that was my haul for the last two weeks, so thanks for watching, happy crafting, and I'll catch you next time, bye!